Okay. So uh, this is a place where I like to pause a bit and focus on different ways to measure um, how well the model fits the data for classification trees and in general for classification problems. So I will start with an example that um, concerns or um, very well known, well known model by now, logistic regression. So just to re remind you, we have features in RP, RP, real line, P dimensions, and the response is 0, 1. Sometimes we um, refer to it as negative 1 and 1, but for now it's 0, 1. And this is our data. So each data point involves a feature vector and a response, which is 0 and 1. The feature vector is p-dimensional, the response is either 0 or 1, and the whole thing here is that we would like to um, learn this function f of theta, where theta is this parameter, which in logistic regression is, is, is our beta, essentially, but this can be any, any family, it can be this family, then if it belongs, if f theta follows this family, then we call it a logistic model, but it doesn't have to be, this is just one specific model. And uh, let's just ignore the logistic, we like to find a function um, that takes as input a p-dimensional vector and gives us a number between 0 and 1, where that number refers to the probability that the response is 1. Okay. So this is our goal in classification. Any machine learning algorithm in the end is about learning this function. The simplest function that we have is a function that involves a hyperplane separating this space into uh, one, one half space which is the region for the zeros and another half space which is the region for the ones. And if, 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 if it, that function has the sigmoid function, then we call it logistic, and then this theta is just the vector of coefficients. But this f theta of x can be anything. It can be a neural network where theta becomes uh, the weights of the network that we like to uh, estimate and optimize over. So um, this is just general form. This is a specific example. And um, we will see the neural network example later, but for now, um, let's look at the log let's just ignore the fact that we are talking about logistic. We just have this function, and now the question is: Let's say we have this function. How can we measure how well this function fits our data? Well, one is misclassification error rate, but something that is more um, useful for many technical reasons is cross entropy. So the loss is measured in this form. So you have a loss which is between the data and the model, f theta of x. And we want to see how well these two are, how close they are. This is a number between 0 and 1. This is a number that is either 0 or 1. And the cross entropy loss is essentially minus y log f theta of x minus 1 minus y log 1 minus f theta of x. And so what does this mean? It means that if y is 1, the cost is minus log f theta x. And if, the, if, if, if y is 0, the cost is negative log 1 minus f theta x. So pause here a little bit. When y is 1, then we would like f theta x to be as close as possible to 1, right? And when f theta x is close to 1, then this log of f theta x will be close to 0. So you see, if f theta x is 1, which would be, if, if y is 1, we would love f theta x to be 1, in which case the loss is 0. If y is 1 and f theta x is not actually close to 1, let's say it's close to 0, then it's negative log of a number which is less than 1. The log of a number less than 1 is always negative, and then negative times negative makes us a positive loss. And that loss increases when f theta gets closer and closer to 0. So you see when the response is 1, the loss is 0 if f theta is 1, or near 0 if f theta x is close to 1, 
and then when it gets farther and farther away from one and becomes smaller, then um, then we have a negative log of. Let just let me show you something, just just to make this concrete. So um, so log of 0.9 is this. 0.8, but the smaller the number, um, when it's below zero, it just gets smaller, bigger and bigger. So neg log of 0.1 is negative two. So um, this is just to so this this loss makes sense, and the same thing you can think about y equals zero. So when y is equal to zero, we would like f theta x to be close to zero meaning that 1 minus f theta x is close to 1 and hence this loss is close to 0. Okay, so this loss makes sense and this loss, you can, you can think of this loss as a general loss that is the equivalent of the mean squared error. This is the squared error in regression. So in regression we look at the residual, we square it. In a binary classification, the, the loss, regardless of what the family f theta x is, this family f theta x can be logistic regression, in which case it will look this form, or it can be a complicated neural network where theta will stand for the uh, weights in the network. But regardless, at the end of the day, f theta x is like this box where x comes in and it spits out, and I mean, it gives us a number between. 0 and 1, which is the probability that y is 1 in terms of the prediction. And then we, this is, a, this is just a reasonable way of, of measuring how, how well the, this, this f theta x um, fits the response. And then when you have many observations, you just take the average of them over all the observations. So you can think when, uh, when you are doing um, like a regression, L of y f theta x is just y minus f theta x squared. But here for cross entropy, it has this form. And for this is just pair observation. When you have n observation, you sum them up. And typically, you divide them by how many observations you have, just so that the loss function um, takes a quantity that is, uh, doesn't change with sample size. Okay, now let's just look at how this cross entropy will look if we are, if f theta x has the form of a logistic function. Um, it will take a neat form. Just let me remind you, probability of y being equal to one given x, this is it. And in general, if, if you do not want to specify what y is, y is either 0 or 1, so when it's 1, um, this formula um, reduces to this term, and when y is 0, then we have e to the power of 0, which gives us a 1, so it's 1 over 1 plus e to the power of x transpose theta. So this is a neat form of representing that, we talked about that before. The log of this, so this is a function of theta or beta, it doesn't matter, it's a vector, it's a vector of coefficients, which is a para, which parameterizes or model and it's unknown we have the data we want to know what what theta to choose when we take the log it has this form we saw this before y x transpose theta minus log 1 plus x transpose theta this is per observation we would like this to be as large as possible or we want the negative of this to be as small as possible the negative of this will be a loss and then um, now f theta of x f theta of x is uh, this function, right? This is, a, this is f theta of x here. So we want to see how, if, if, if we want to see if we plug f theta x here, what do we get? Okay, so we have this loss function and we plug in the form of f theta x. So log of f theta x is this, L minus log of one minus f theta x is this, I don't want to do the math here if it's just like 
less than two minutes for you to deduce this. This is very straightforward. So once you take these two lines and plug it in into what we have as cost cross entropy loss, then you have minus y log f theta x minus one minus y log one minus f theta x. You, you just um, do the math and it just in the end, after you simplify, you essentially you, you um, cancel this term, this y log one plus e to the power of x trans pose theta with the negative of it and what remains is a log um, 1 plus e to the power x transpose theta which is here and this term remains here and this this is the loss and this is essentially what is this this is the negative log likelihood so the negative log likelihood for logistic regression is essentially the cross entropy for logistic regression that that's just the whole take-home message and um, you just have to redo this math on your own. I can pause here for five minutes and, and just do the, all the details, but by now you can do it. And I don't think it's um, reasonable for me just to waste time on all these um, details, even though they are important because there is uh, so much material and we want to get to um, other um, more um, advanced topics. But the take home message here is this. Classification is uh, in machine learning, regardless of what method you're, you're talking about, when we want to do binary classification, um, we have zero and ones as, as a response, and then we have a feature vector, and we would like to learn a function which is parameterized by this vector theta, and this function takes an x, so it's from rp to zero to one, and then the question is, well, once we have this function, how can we see how well it fits the data? And I said, like, well, uh, many everybody uses it. Cross entropy is the loss between this observation and this model it has this form. And I explained why this should this makes sense, why this loss behaves the way we would like it to behave. And then I said, let's look how this loss will look like if f theta x is uh, one of the most well-known um, functions in machine learning for and simplest ones for um, binary classification which is the logistic function and so let's see how it looks and we did the math and after we did the math we saw that this loss is essentially negative log likelihood of the conditional probability of the response given the features and uh, yeah so that's so for logistic regression, cross entropy is the same as, as negative log likelihood. So I pause here a little bit so you have time to digest. Okay, so when we have when we are dealing with k classes, um, so a classification problem involving more than two classes, then um, one of the popular ways to approach it is to say, well, we can um, turn this problem, this um, k class classification problem, into k binary classifiers where each binary classifier is trained only to separate uh, data points that belong to the little k versus not being in little k. And little k goes from 1, 2, 3 to big K. So k sep big K separate classifiers trained to binary data. So for example, you can have k logistic regressions. So when a new data point comes, we pass that new data point through these k classifiers, k logistic regressions, and each of them comes up with the probability that this new data point belongs to that uh, corresponding class. 
and the one which has the highest is 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 the one which we choose and we can just add these all these probabilities together and and then and then have a total and then see which so essentially we can find the probability for each of these um, k classes by combining k logistic regressions or k any type of binary classifier so so the first function um, you can call it f theta of x sub 1 is a classifier is a binary classifier that is there only to identify whether a point belongs to class 1 or or not so you have this original data set which is a k class problem and then you can make another data set which turns the k labels into either it belongs to one or it doesn't belong to one and then you train a model to that let's say logistic regression and then you can do the same thing for um, class two whether a data point belongs to class two or not so you get another logistic regression for example so you can have k of these functions k of these logistic regressions or whatever it's any function so a k classification problem essentially boils down to learning these k uh, functions okay for each of the classes and then the last function uh, will have this form so i am here introducing what the loss function what the cross entropy loss function uh, looks like for a classification problem involving more than two classes so you have the summation over little k um, yk log f theta xk and and the logic of this is the same as the as the binary one and why if especially if if if, if you if, if you notice the fact that yk is just uh, it's either one if if the class is little k and otherwise it's zero so essentially this loss is just a negative log probability given by that class and and the larger that probability is the smaller the log is going to be it's going to be closer to zero so the loss will be smaller Okay. This is for cross entropy for a binary classification problem. And you can show that um, for two classes, when capital K is two, this will look like the previous formula I showed you. 